Trade. What is going on, my gamers? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I am the one, the only, the craziest of them all, your boy Arfax. But before we continue with this walkthrough, I gotta say I owe you to each and every single one of you a big apology. Now, for the past two weeks, I haven't uploaded a single video. And I'm depressed about it, believe it or not. I'm mad about it. The thing is, and I don't want you guys to take this as an excuse, even though it's gonna sound like one. But that's not what I'm trying to do here. I am actually an Amazon driver. I drive a step van. I usually get home between 5 p.m to 6 30 p.m. But I've been getting home for the past two weeks at 9, 9 30 p.m. I barely got legs when I get here, exhausted, and all I wanted to do is just eat, take a shower, talk to my friends on PSN if I could, and go to sleep. That's all, that's all. And and I said, you know what, I'm gonna do this for the past two days and I'm gonna take a little break. But two days went to four, four went to a week, and a week went to two, to where I am right about now. And I'm not liking it. If that place taught me something, is that I no longer want to be there. I don't want to do a job that I don't like. And now more than never, I want to make it on YouTube. I don't care how long it takes me, if it takes me 10 years, then 10 years, it's all I need. So I cannot take more orders from somebody. No more BS. Believe me, fellas. I've got big guys and tough girls coming in my job from construction, by the way. And they said, I'm going to be here. This is going to be too easy. I'm, it's just going to be too easy. They come in here and three days later, they quit. This is the toughest job that I've ever had. And I've had plenty. Now again, I'm gonna say this. I don't want you to take this as an uh, as an excuse, but I do want you to take my apology and give me one more shot. Hopefully, this never happens again. Not hopefully. It will not happen again. In order for me to succeed, I need each and every single one of you to spread the word. But you are not obligated to do so. I will always tell you, my boys and girls, you're not obligated to do so. You're not obligated to like my videos. You're not obligated to, to subscribe. You only do so in your own free will. You're always welcome here as a friend, family. But if you do believe, if you believe that I deserve the sub, the like, the comments, this is your house. The floor belongs to you now that's out of the way let's continue with this game because i did not fo <laughs> i did not remember where i left it at hmm all right okay I, I remember a little bit so the last time i played i did some side quests level a, a little bit then came back to the rumor requirement so we are going to go on ahead and continue with the main plot the headmistress speaks. The portrait of Professor Niam Fitzgerald has appeared in the mob chamber. I should go there and speak with her. All right, so let's just go to the room of requirement. Really easy. Ah, uh, now to the mob chamber. My bad. My bad. Here we go. I don't care if I come here tired each and every single day, exhausted. I will finish this and I will succeed. Let's go. Welcome back. <sighs> Welcome back, lady. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. 
I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Right. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. Mm. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Hi, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to go there at night. Now I do, hopefully before the quest, the main quest line is over, we can get the quest line How will I get for Avada Kedavra. It's office. the only unforgivable curse we haven't gotten. To do. So we're gonna go to that guy, uh, Fitzgerald. I mean, no, Fig, we go, we go, we go, <laughs> we're gonna see a Fig. All right, let's, let's make the shortest possible way to him. I'm pretty sure this will be it. What the hell are you doing? Right, here we go. Sorry for the shenanigans, boys and girls. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this game. More like he doesn't like you. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. And we're kind of close. Open it? It took a while to open though. Fag is gonna help us and hopefully he comes along as well. We gotta wait for him though. There he is. The professor himself. And the legend. Begin quest. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Mm. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. No way! Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. That is kind of suspicious though. But I'm, I've been telling you, Phyllis, that I have a feeling Ludgok is actually Rimrock. Oh, oh. <laughs> Looking like Mr. Black now. Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. 
She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him when to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now right. to find the headmaster's house elf. We gotta find. We gotta find Scrope. It's kind of far though, so we're gonna go and fast travel. Oh, they are not giving us the liberty to teleport. That's not looking good. That's a long distance though. All right, let's go. Which way? No. There we go. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably mm. best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? This quest, this quest kind of sounds like we're going to be talking to a lot of fellas. Down to that yellow icon in there. Could be wrong though, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's find out. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have headmaster. Yeah, what could you want? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I Professor, a word? No. Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine <laughs> no. now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Oh, we're gonna threaten you right now, Kagawa. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I. Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a head? <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Oh, this way, I guess. Man, this is what happens when you start playing this game for like two weeks. I'm going all over the goddamn place. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Professor, there we go. I need to speak to you. Can we Hello, ask Professor? Can, can oh, we speak some other time? How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, 
Yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, kind of happy she has missed you. the wrong... But I'm she has missed you the wrong... Uh, good, good. Black, be all Weasley. <laughs> I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> A wonderful job. Black would, the real Professor Black would never know what just transpired in this conversation. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Oh, man. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. Oh. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Which one it is? <laughs> It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> Oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. Uh, I confiscated this filthy diary from a uh, student. I it smells that. of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. <laughs> Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Mm. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Absolutely. <laughs> Burping. <laughs> Man, I made it just in time. Somebody's gonna off. see him. Listen, somebody's definitely gonna see this guy. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. I. Now Did to you speak the pathway to the gargoyle. Her, right? <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it was, right? The party juice plot. So we're gonna wait for this thing to update so we can continue it. Come on now. He hasn't. Here we go. So all we gotta do now is access the headmaster's office. The Jewish pure, pure. I don't know how to pronounce that. My French is horrible, and so is my English, though. <laughs> it is what it is, fellas. like a crazy son of a gun. I never had this flame? No way. 
Of course, I never, I never came here. But now I have. Do I really have to go all this way? Oh yeah, we have to go all this way up. Man, if I would have investigated this area when I was doing side quests, we would have done this rather fast. It's good to, you know, to do this in the walkthrough. Don't, do not get me wrong, though. I kind of like it, the but it's gargoyle. a little bit too long. Yet. That's where I need to speak the password. And it wastes a little bit of time. The staircase that leads to the headmaster's office is guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will let only those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. Alright. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Hmm. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more right. to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Okay. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Let's do it, baby! Where am I? Oh, Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Oh shit! You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. What? Uh oh. Some enemies are last. Let's get them. Oh no, we we're not fighting. Hey man. I should have run when I could. What is this place man? Leave must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Uh oh. Yeah, we, we made it so far. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Okay, this guy needs to move. Alright, here we go. Almost got toasted, baby. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Man, I stop standing in there. Stop standing around. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, go. Please go. 
Okay, so we are using the high ground. They're gone. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. So where the hell am I gonna go? We're going down with that, okay. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You, 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 you see the mini man? I need to find a way past them. All right, come on, come on, fella, just turn around. Now we gotta wait for this guy to turn around too. the movies though but I've never heard of this place ever that's death is she deaf nothing this way but more danger must be to find you I need to turn back there's no getting past them that way close tight no way but forward, I suppose. Alright, we're going up. We're going up. Oh my god. Jokes are everywhere. Oh, come on now. my chance and when he's sneaky right behind him he sounds really scared <laughs> do you know from when when we got here I honestly thought there was something going something going on with the graphics I was I was like holy crap my fire said you fired your fucking broke what I mysterious cloak I think I'm invisible. I thought so. Oh, they cannot see us now. That's they great. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. So don't touch him, though. Don't touch him. I do know the death glow. Though. This is the way forward. From Find the movies, free. though. Now, where are you, Neve? Can you imagine if we get that? Uh... One death thus far, but have yet to find me. What you call the? Uh... Searching, but this time you will the be The one from the hide. movie. Has a name, but I <laughs> forgot about it. Wheels the one. I'll call it the death one. It's right there. Do not squander its extraordinary power. <laughs> Holy shit, we're getting this. No way. gonna be able to defend ourselves now I can't wait though but we're gonna have to see that in the next one because right here right now I'm stopping this entry and we'll continue the next one but in the meantime you boys and girls be there be safe you know if you're liking the content don't forget to destroy that like button baby <coughs> my bad I barely got a voice and consider subscribing to the channel I'm here to stay like I've said so many times before alright but if you don't I love you nonetheless and wish you the best in health and success-wise. In the meantime, 
your boy R Fox is out.